If you don't already know Umbreon is my all-time favorite Pokemon, I would question how much attention you're really paying. But people have asked me what is my favorite Pokemon of each type, and I don't find that a very straightforward question. Like, if you ask me what's my favorite Dragon type, I, I don't know, I don't have a ready answer. But I asked myself this question, I think the first time was a few years ago for a playthrough of Heart Gold, where I wanted a team of my favorite Pokemon, but that also packed into it as much type variety as possible. So, as the huge nerd that I am, I turned to the only obvious solution, a spreadsheet. So I'm going to show those of you that didn't immediately close the video how I built that sheet, and in the process I'll talk about my favorite Pokémon. In concept, it's a pretty simple spreadsheet, but I decided to remake it from scratch. That way, it lets me show you the entire process, and I also get to update it with new Pokémon, because the last time I did this, the Ultra games hadn't come out yet, and I also get to figure out my favorites without really being biased by my old choices. So the first thing you'll want to do is set up 19 separate sheets. You'll need one for each type, and then the first one to aggregate the results from all the others. So in that first sheet, set up a number of slots for each type. I did five slots, it could be a little bit more, it could be a little less. Then in the sheet for each type, I pasted in a list of all of the Pokémon with that type. Hopefully they were complete and only missing the newest Pokémon. Because this was a team-building spreadsheet, I only included the final evolution of each family, so you could be super hardcore and actually include every single Pokémon. Now this is where it starts to get interesting. You go through and you try to figure out your top five Pokémon of each type. You could set more if you wanted to, but the number of slots that you made in the score sheet is how many will count. I started by putting them in order like first to last, with one being the best one, until I realized that it actually works better with the best being a highest number, so I went back and changed it. Bug was a tough call between the bugs of Unova and Alola, but Scolipede won out in the end. I love its kind of centipede horse design. You already know Umbreon is my favorite, but Tyranitar came out as the runner-up in the dark types. I love its sort of Godzilla look, and I've always really enjoyed a hard-hitting Pokémon. By the way, my choices are a combination of looks, battle prowess, and my personal history with the Pokémon, and Tyranitar hits all of those boxes. It turns out Flygon is my favorite dragon. It's got a really interesting origin, and I think they did a fantastic job with the design. My favorite electric type is Electivire. I've always liked Electabuzz, and I really enjoy this kind of hulking version of it. I was surprised to realize that my favorite fairy type is Alolan Ninetales. I actually wasn't really fond of the idea of Alolan Vulpix and Ninetales when I first heard of it, but it just looks so elegant and mystical, which is perfect for Ninetales, and I've now had it as a major member of at least two different teams. Fighting was a tough call between Lucario, Blaziken, and Breloom. I went with Lucario in the end, mostly because of the Anubis angle. I was a huge Egyptian mythology nerd as a kid, so it struck a chord. Chandelure has been my top fire type since Gen 5. It's one of the few really successful inanimate object Pokémon, and I have a shiny one that I adore, even though the red fire is sort of less cool than the blue fire. For flying type, I went with Noivern. I love the idea of a bat wyvern and the sound-based attacking bat, and just look at it, it's just so cool. I like a surprising number of ghosts, but Palisand won out. I love the haunted house possessed sandcastle, but honestly I think the biggest selling point is how it uses its towers as hands. Speaking of ghosts, my favorite grass type is Decidueye. I love the look of its hood and the way it shoots its own feathers as arrows. In ground, I've got Flygon and Palisand at the top, so my favorite that isn't a repeat is Swampert. All of the Gen 3 starters were really solid, and I've had great adventures with all of them, but Mega Swampert's really unbalanced design really works for me. For Ice, I've got Alolan Ninetales again, but the runner-up is Glaceon. And I actually haven't used Glaceon very much, but it grew on me a lot recently when my character got one in Dungeons & Dragonairs. My favorite normal type is Sylvalli. I remember being baffled when I first saw Type Null, and I do think that the designs could have used a little bit more of a push to be a that bit more interesting, but I love the concept. Crobat was already one of my favorite Poison-type Pokémon in Generation 2, but when I got a shiny one in Ruby, it immediately became a mainstay of that team. I still have that Crobat. Its name is Bat. I hate my old self, but I love my pink Crobat. 
Gardevoir's elegance is, I think, what makes it my favorite psychic type. It's also one of the few Pokemon that I think look better in 3D, and the shiny Mega is fantastic. It's also Indigo's my wife's favorite Pokemon, and so she might be rubbing off on me. Yay, Gardevoir! <laughs> Since I already mentioned Tyranitar, the rock type runner up is Archaeops. I was a huge paleontology nerd as a kid, so Archaeopteryx was one of my favorite ancient animals. It still is. Bisharp is my favorite steel type for many reasons. It's a dark type, it has great attack, it has defiant, but what really caught my eye is how much it looks like Ultraman. Look, it's a dark type, it's a ninja, it's a weirdo that uses its own tongue as a scarf, it has a black shiny, and I finally hashed a shiny Froki on my birthday last year. Greninja is a shoe in for my favorite water type. Yeah, emo. <laughs> That's me. All right, now we can go back to the main score sheet and import the top slots from each type. Add up the scores per type to come up with an overall score, sort by that and make sure they're also grouped by name, and ta-da, a team of your favorite Pokemon right at the top. If I highlight the top six Pokemon on this list that don't repeat a type, I come up with an ideal team of Flygon, Alolan Ninetales, Crobat, Decidueye, Tyranitar, and Blaziken. I can tell you this is pretty different from the last time I did this. Tastes change. But this is also just a guide. For example, I could choose to use Umbreon and drop Tyranitar. Or maybe I feel like using Noivern, so I drop Flygon and Crobat and find something else to fill that extra slot. If you're interested in doing this yourself, I put some details about the formulas that I used in the description. But maybe you already have your own spreadsheets for this kind of thing, and if you do, I would love to hear your methods. And of course, I'm always happy to hear your thoughts on my favorites and your list of favorites as well. I'm Umbreon Libris, I'll see you in the next chapter. Flygon, Ninetales, Crobat, Decidueye, Tyranitar, Blaziken!